What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off some awesome retro Pokemon trading card game decks from the 2006 World Championships format, largely considered to be the best Pokemon trading card game format of all time. And I think you're going to see why in this exciting gameplay action we've got ahead, featuring Ludicolo and Nidoqueen. Ludicolo is this awesome water type Pokemon with 100 HP and the Swing Dance Poke Power. Swing Dance says once during your turn, you may draw a card. That's it. When combined with Meg Cargo, though, with the smooth over Pokemon power, you can stack whatever card you want on top of your deck, then swing dance into it, essentially allowing you to stack your deck and draw whatever card you want, which is amazing. It's also got two awesome attacks. Healing steps for one water energy deals 30 damage. And you can discard as many cards as you want from your hand and heal that many damage counters off of the Ludicolo. This is largely a two hit KO format. So being able to dish out damage while healing your own Ludicolo is really good. Circular Steps is your big swinging attack. For a water and two colorless, it does 10 damage times the amount of Pokemon you have in play, except for your active Ludicolo, maxing out at 110 damage if both yours and your opponent's benches are full. Now in the other corner, we have got Nidoqueen. Nidoqueen has got 120 HP and two powerful attacks, Toxic for one grass energy leaves the defending Pokemon poisoned, except you put two damage counters instead of one on the defending Pokemon between turns. And then for a fighting and two colorless power lariat deals 40 damage plus 10 more damage for each evolved Pokemon you have a play. So you can max out at 100 damage with power lariat. But we've also got Pidgeot to help back up the Nidoqueen in the deck. And Pidgeot is a really powerful card that I'm excited to show off in this gameplay. Pablo Meza piloted Nidoqueen to a top four world champion championships finish at the 2005 World Championships and Jeremy Marin finished first at the 2005 World Championships with Nidoqueen in 2005 and backed it up with a top four finish in 2006. So Nidoqueen was a very powerful deck for years during the 2005-2006 era. Ludicolo was piloted to a top eight finish at the 2006 World Championships by Tom DeLozel. So Ludicolo also a very successful archetype from the era. Let's get right on to the gameplay and see what these decks have got in store for us. What? Uh, Tails. All right, you're going first. I'm going first. Yep. Um, I'll bench Rhyhorn and Wishing Star. Yeah. Which lets me... So it's kind of like the, the team of Jirachi, except you can get any card. So insane. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's cool to see Pokemon kind of recycle some of these ideas. I really do like that. Um, you know, bring back some of the classics. I mean, because some of these concepts are just really strong and... You know, and uh, nice fundamental stuff for the Pokemon trading card game. Getting that uh, Jirachi there to help set the decks up is really good. Now, this Wishing Star Pokemon power is much stronger than the, uh, you know, the Stellar Wish that we're used to. Wishing Star allows you to look at the top five. You can put any card you find there into your hand. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, there is no escape board, okay? Uh, that allows you to free retreat, so the sleep flips really matter. Yeah, because you also can't use it while, while you're asleep. Exactly. And yeah. Thank you so much, Morton Shots, for that tier one sub there. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the channel. Appreciate you, Morton. All right, I'll pass. Yep. Oh. And oh, wait. Oh, wait. All right. I'm gonna draw for turn. Now I've got like a pretty decent uh, opening hand here myself, so I'm um, just trying to figure out how to pace my way through here. I know that you know Will's got no little, uh, you know. What is, what is he like? Low Tad. Low Tads. No, no, <laughs> Ludicolo Juniors over there. Yeah, is that Gen Three? Yeah. Yeah, man, Gen Three is like the the blackout gen for me. It was the one. <laughs> it's the only generation game I did not complete. Dang. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. I even like went back and I tried to play. Uh, um, I tried to play like Alpha what Omega Al Ruby Alpha Sapphire yeah. or what is it Sapphire? Is it yeah Alpha Sapphire yeah. Omega no, Ruby. No. And I'll, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Elvis Sapphire. Uh, one mm -hmm. of those. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play those, but I didn't have any, like, you know, I didn't have any feels for it because, you know, mm -hmm. I, I like, you know, there was no nostalgia feels because I never played it. Yeah. So, you know, those are the only series. Now, I will go back and I'll beat it someday. I mm -hmm. just haven't, uh, it's one of the things I haven't gotten around to yet, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Look for friends. Is reveal cards from your deck until you reveal a basic Pokemon. Show it to your opponent. Put it in your hand. Oh, that's pretty busted. I'm into that. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm going to do just Celio's Network. Celio's Network. I can get a Pokemon out of my deck and put it into my hand. That's it. Yep. Literally just going to go get the Pidgey, I yep. think. Yes, I do not have anything crazy like Rare Candy in my hand. Uh, none of that. I would like to play Emerald. Yeah. Emerald seems pretty good. Gold, I did play. Uh, Crystal, I played a lot of Crystal version, actually. That was like... 
uh, as I, when I was a child, that was like when I was getting into middle school, and uh, and that's when I like took a break, uh, and then came back for um, what the Diamond and Pearl. Yeah, yeah that was like um, really liked Pearl version for sure. Played that excessively. All right, we're gonna put an energy onto our Nidoran here, and we're just going to look for friends. Look for friends. Real co top cards of the deck until, yep, we get, and that nice. goes to my hand, not the bench. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. I'll draw. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't, I, don't, I think I want to discard this with the yeah. I'm gonna Holland Transceiver, which lets me get a supporter card with Holland's name from the deck or discard pile. Yeah. Which is very good. I'll get the Holland Mentor, which. I have to discard a card to play it, and then I can get three basic Pokemon that each have 100 HP or less and put them into my hand. So I'm going to discard um, the Rhydon with the Hollow Mentor, since I play two Rhydon and it's not it's not that crucial in the matchup, so I'm not too worried about discarding it. So I'll get Lotad, um, Lotad, and a Slugma. And let me just check my prizes real quick. Make sure I didn't prize four with a colo. Uh, okay. That's cool. And then I'm going to use Wishing Star. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, Hollow Mentor was definitely one of the best setup cards from this era. And, uh, you know, a lot of decks played the Holland's Engine, but what's funny is the decks that didn't even play the Holland's Engine. You know, there's this whole kind of family of cards that interact with Holland stuff. Like, there's yeah. Holland's Transceiver, Holland Supporters. Holland Transceiver allows you to get Holland Supporters out of the deck or out of the discard pile. It's really good, right? Um, but uh, there are some decks that just played Holland's Mentor and Holland's Transceiver mm -hmm. just to go get more Holland's Mentors. Yes. Because Holland's Mentor was, you know, largely considered to be the best Holland's card. Yeah. Very good card. Yeah, because you didn't even have to be a Holland's deck, right? Now, mm -hmm. Holland Holland cards are cards that are like that Pidgeotto that I was showing off earlier, or the Pidgeot that I was showing off earlier. Uh, it's got the dual type. It's got the little Holland marker on the top of it, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to attach to Lotad. Yeah. And uh, I have Battle for sure in my hand, but I don't want to play yet because he, Andrew could just uh, counter with the stadium. So I'll pass. All right. Sounds good. Draw for turn. Up again. I've got, wow, I mean, just like top deck knit arena twice in a row. That's I mean, cool. off the look for friends. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> that's pretty uh, pretty gas right there. Um, and slow and steady wins the race here. So I think I think I can just go, like, what are the odds that my knit arena gets knocked out this next turn? I, I think you would need to find, like, I know your only switch card in the deck, at least last time we played, you did switch the deck up a little bit. Uh, is you only have like war points. Yeah. So I don't think that you're gonna have you know the war point. Uh, I think I'm gonna evolve into Knit Arena and attach the double rainbow energy to my Knit Arena, and I'm gonna use Celio's network to go get an evolution card out of my deck, and it's most definitely just going to be the uh, not nah, Pidgeotto, bro. Oh, Pidgeotto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna get Pidgeotto so that that way I can evolve, and then I'm gonna use Knit Arena's attack. Uh, which is fast evolution. Fast evolution is just going to allow me to go get two evolution cards out of my deck and put them into my hand. And uh, you're going to see with these decks, uh, there's this very kind of methodical um, setup phase where we're both kind of just jockeying for position, trying to set up our strategies. We're trying to like get some cards into play. Uh, I'm going to get Nidoqueen out of the deck. And I'm also Are probably... You with fast evolution. Oh, yes. Yep. yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, two evolution cards? Oh, that's that's busted. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, that's fine. And I'm thinking that it's just going to be Pidgeot, yep, and, uh, yeah, Pidgeot and Queen because I want the, the Quick Search Pidgeot to just to help me kind of set up my strategy here. I'm going to wait till a little bit later in the game, I think, to set up my Pidgeotto once, hopefully, uh, or my other Pidgeot, the Delta Species Pidgeot, mm. because I want... Uh, you know, I want Will to, like, maybe go through some Battle Frontiers first before I end up getting that thing into play. All right. And then try to, like, counter it at the end of the game. That was a pretty good top deck. That was a card I was going to smooth over for. So... Love to see it. I'll evolve to my cargo. Yep. I'll go Rare Candy, Ludicolo. 
So I'm not. I can't take a knockout this turn because I have. Oh, I guess if I, get, if I get another bench Pokemon, I can take a knockout. We got a question in the chat. Is there hand disruption? Oh baby. Yep. Yep. <laughs> there is. Rocket's admin. Rocket's admin is basically N. It is N. Except you could draw up to the amount of prize cards you have. That is literally the only difference. Rockets Admin, basically the olden N from back in the day, yes. So we do play some admins to disrupt hands at the end of the game. So right here, I could sw uh, swing over for um, a card called Mr. Brian's Compassion, which lets me just pick, it's like a scoop up, but it's a supporter. So it lets me yeah. pick up the Drachi from my active. It's basically a switch. So what I could do is Wishing Star for basic Pokemon, and then swing over swing dance to get the compassion and take a knockout because that even with double rainbow that's be five and then four that's ninety and then minus ten is eighty. That'd be so absurd. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna go wishing star first for uh, didn't get no basic Pokemon. No, I would be so upset. <laughs> That'd be wild. Um, yeah. I mean, like, the odds... I Like I said, you only play, like, two Switch cards in the deck. One is just Supporter, yeah. right? <laughs> and the other one is... Uh, it would actually get my Nidorina out of the active. So, yeah. like, I was... You know, it's definitely a risk having the Nidorina up here with all of the energy on it. But I was thinking that... Uh, also, that wasn't a Ludicolo, right? Did you just rare candy that? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't... A, oh, yeah, like, it last was... turn when I went in with Nidorina, yeah, was that was not a Ludicolo. No, it was a low tag. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. like, I was thinking here that I was safe, <laughs> but the fact that, like, Will is actually close yeah. is kind of insane. All right. Um, I'll still attach the rainbow to the Will Colo. Yeah, thank you so much. Captain Loot for that Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate the support, and Captain. Then, thank you. I didn't shovel because I'm going to, I'm just going to add them. Sure. Since you just fast evolution for the two cards, I'm going to add That makes sense. Those. Yeah, that makes sense. So, you're going to just, like, you're still just, like, waiting on your stadiums, though. Yeah, I mean, I have one in my hand, but I'm not going to play it yet. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, that's my only hope is that you kind of play your stadiums down early so that then, you know, maybe I can counter them at the end of the game, admin you to, like, two, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, really try to take advantage of that uh, momentum. I could also, like, if you take too long to set up, I mean, I, I do have the makings of a quick Nitto Queen here, yes. you know, which can play to my advantage of what as well. Six. I'll evolve to right on. Yep. And then I'm not sure what I want to smooth over for here. Um, I guess it could be try to get a little Dicolo set up. That sounds fine. I'll smooth over. Yep. Hmm. I'll get this card, I think. See. Yeah, I'll get that card and I'll swing dance to draw it and then finish the book. Cool. Another time. So now we both got our stage two attackers basically ready to go. I've got Nid Arena, but all I have to do is find the, the Nidal Queen and I'm going to be ready to start attacking. And, you know, we can see we're both at like a very similar place here. Both of our decks are stage two decks. Both. Use double rainbow. Yep. Both attackers cost three energy. Mm -hmm. Both attackers have a significant amount of HP. And, you know, we're ready We're ready to go. All right. I will pass. Okay. Draw for turn. Tails. All right. So I do have my Pidgeot with the quick search ability I can use. So um, this is good. This is good. I'm going to attach basic grass energy to bench Nidoran. Uh, I'm going to use... Celio's network. Just search my deck for a Nidda Queen, and we're gonna get the Nidda Queen into play. And then I'm going to quick search and go get another card out of my deck. And I'm thinking at this point we are just going with the Nid Arena. Now I'm really happy to be evolving up without using Rare Candy this game mm. because Will also plays an ATM Rock in his deck. Yep. <laughs> which can just go and devolve all my dudes. Uh, which is uh, very disruptive. It's just a, a tool card that gives your evolved Pokemon an extra attack. Well, it's, it's not even a tool card. It's just a, it's just a technical chain. 
Well, I guess it, it kind of acts like a tool card. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay, it acts like a tool card. Yeah. Uh, it's a technical machine, technically, yes. But, but you are allowed to have a tool and the technical machine. Really? Yes. I didn't know because that. Because that's not a tool. I guess I have not really read the card close enough. But yes, yeah. ATM Rock, that's crazy. I did not realize that. Yeah. ATM Rock, actually, uh, I'll go ahead and show off the card. So this is something that I have to play around in this matchup. The ATM Rock is a technical machine, not actually a tool card, but it yeah. kind of acts in a similar way. Mm -hmm. uh, and it gives your opponent, it gives your Pokemon... Uh, this bonus attack, Stone Generator, devolves all my Pokemon. So if I go in with rare candies, then Will could just ATM rock and lift up all my evolutions, and it can be really tough to have to rebound from after he uses that. So I've got my Nidoqueen Queen now in the active. It's got a double rainbow energy on it, as well as the Holland energy. Holland energy just provides a colorless, but that's fine. I can use Power Lariats, and I do have three evolved Pokemon in play, the Pidgeot, the Nidorina, and the Nidoran. Uh, I don't want to put too many pokemon down into play if i can help it i mean we can see like i've got another nidoran in my hands i don't want to just throw that down it boosts your damage output for like no reason mm. so i'm just going to kind of pinch that for now i'm going to power lariats and i am taking a knockout there we're dealing 70 damage minus 10 for the double rainbow and that'll be 60 to knock out the jirachi yep i'll promote ludicolo yep and draw this is really weird for me here um so, let's see, I'm doing, for the full bench, I'm doing still 90s. Not quite enough. For the no, you're not taking a knockout. That was by design. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is pretty bad. Now, I know you play a POW hand extension in the deck. I do play the POW hand extension. I do not play any way to gust in my deck. So, I have to just deal with what's in the active yeah. position. So, I can take a knockout on the Nid Arena, which is pretty cool. Yes, if you wanted to POW that up. Yes, yeah, so I think I want to do that, actually. Um, I'm not sure if you're even in my deck. So I will smooth. Eh, do I want to smooth over yet? Um, no, I'm not gonna. Smooth, I'm not gonna smooth over yet. I'll attach to low tad. Put up battle frontier. Sure. And then I will admin. Sounds good. So I'm gonna shuffle draw five. You shuffle draw six. And the battle frontier coming into play. Uh, that is going to be very disruptive for me. Completely shutting down my. Uh, my Pidgeot's quick search Pokemon power so that I cannot search out whatever card I want from a deck anymore, which is going to help me to stream my attacks turn after turn. Um, but yes, this this should be pretty challenging to have to play around. So let's, uh, let's see. I mean, I do have stadiums. I don't think I have as many as Will has in his deck. Though, I think you play three or two stadiums, and I play four. Yeah, you play four. So you, like, you should win the stadium wars most of the time. Uh, that was a horrible admin. But you love to see that. <laughs> I will bench Lombre, I guess, and another Slugma. Sure. And then I will smooth over. And what are you grabbing here off the... Um, hopefully Pow. Mid Cargo. Which, yeah, the Pow is in here. So I'll grab the Pow. Sure. But I almost want to, like, just hit you for 90 here. That's what I'm thinking. 80. Like, I mean, going to aggro on my Nid Arena is, like, kind of mm. fine. I guess, let's see what my hand is. You can always save it for later in the game. That is true. Um, I think with the I will grab. Huh. Something that's also annoying is you could pow away my double rainbow. Uh, You mean ATM Rocket away? No, you can power it away. Power and extension can move energy too. Oh, it can. Yeah, did you read, read the other half of power, bro. <laughs> you never use the other half, bro. Yes, you do. It's like a hammer. Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> it's like ham. It's like an a porter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is an a porter. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it is. And um, I think if you move the double rainbow to my Nidoran, it just gets discarded. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, so it's like an enhanced hammer. Yeah. But I'm not sure if I want to waste it on the, that effect, though, honestly. Because right. I think, I mean, you play four double rainbows, like, you probably have one. Right. So, I think I'm going to get this card. Okay. And then I will swing dance it in my hand. Sure. And I'll do circular steps for 80 damage. All right. 80 onto the Nido Queen. And in a similar, you know, vein, I am going to be hard-pressed to... Knock out this Ludicolo in one hit is basically not happening. So that is uh, going to be a little bit tough. I've drawn my card for turn. I think 
Steven's Advice just seems really good. Steven's Advice is like one of the most insane cards. Oh, yeah. That card yeah. is so bonkers. Yeah, it's completely nuts. I'm going to Steven's Advice. Uh, discard the Pidgeot. Whoa, and, what? What? You don't, you don't discard a card. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to Steven's Advice. Yeah. It's not every other supporter is like, discard a card. Three, yeah. eight, four, five. Yeah, yeah. All we, the Holland cards make you discard a card. Draw six. Yeah, yeah. that's not. So I'm just going to draw six. Three, four, five, six. All right. That uh, is pretty decent. I think I'm, yeah, chilling right now. So I can rare candy into Nidoqueen like that. And then I don't have some other basics. I actually would have preferred to have drawn a Pidgey there, but I didn't, so that's fine. And then I'm just gonna attach basic grass energy to my Nidoqueen and I can't, Quick search. No. Nope. No, because of the, you know, the battle frontier, which is still in play. So I'm thinking here that I'm probably just going to swing in with Power Lariat. Now, I have options. I mean, I could swing in with Power Lariat, and then we're doing um, 70 damage with Power Lariat, which is quite a bit. Uh, it's going to be hard for Will to heal all of that. Um, or I could, you know, go for the Toxic. I, I think that Toxic is probably just not as strong. It is guaranteed 20 damage to come back. You would definitely... Uh, well, have an option to potentially healing steps, but I think Power Lariat, just get the damage on board. We're yeah. going to be dealing 70 damage there with Power Lariat because okay. I have one, two, three, four evolved Pokemon in play with my Nidoqueen. I'll draw. Hmm. So here, my plan is to take a knockout with healing steps. So you would have to, like, remove the double rainbow from you. Or you mean the... Oh, yeah, the double rainbow is still on there. Yeah, because, um, like, right now I have 40 hit points left. Yeah. So you have to remove the double rainbow from yourself and, and put the strength charm on Yes. It. Yes. Which is definitely possible since I have smooth over. So what I'm going to do is... Hmm. Yeah, this is, is kind of awkward a little bit. I will... Mr. Briny's Compassion, which lets me just pick up a Pokemon and put all cards into my hand that are attached to it yeah it's like a super scoop up yeah but in a supporter similar to az similar to uh well, acerola yeah except the pokemon doesn't have to be damaged to use it i guess i should have swing dance before i did that because i can do it twice if i pick it up but that's fine um and then i'll evolve here um then i will attach to a low 10 and then i'll smooth over Yep. Or the Strength Charm, which I know is in my deck. Here it is. And I'll Swing Dance and attach it to the active. It's pretty good. So now you're going to Healing Steps. You only have one energy on your guy. You completely yep. healed. I mean, this is like kind of disastrous, right? Will was able to completely heal his damaged Ludicolo, put it all into his hand. Yes, very good. Yes. Um... But the, the Brian's also does get, you know, I, I, I wasted rare candy doing that, pretty much. Um, I think it's going to buff out, man. Yeah. <laughs> the Strength Charm gives you plus 10 damage, like plus power or vitality ban. It gets discarded after you attack with it, though. And I'll healing steps. All right. That was tough. I uh, did, not, did not want to, you know, completely get all of my damage negated like that. That was a feel bad, man. So that's fine. It's fine. We're plugging away out here. I'll promote my Nitto Queen. Uh, I guess I'll promote Pidgeot. It's got free retreat. Yeah. Don't don't be bad. All right, and draw for turn. It's a fine top deck for sure. I've got double rainbow energy for the Nitto Queen. How many cards are in your hand? Uh, seven. Seven. I really wish I could quick search right now, but I can't. <laughs> so it feels bad. Um, I think I'm just gonna copy cats. Yep. To just see seven new cards. I had admins in my hand. Playing the admins now just feels wrong. Uh, I think that if I, uh, you know, if I start trying to limit your hand when you've only taken one prize, like, what the heck's the point of that? Yeah. Like, I only have so many admins in the deck, so I gotta save them. For, you know, when, uh, you know, when you've taken more prizes, get you down to, like, two cards. Hopefully then sweep my Pidgey out at the end of the game. Mm. Um, so seven cards here off the copycat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's fine. You know what supporter card I do not like? What? Scott. What the <laughs> heck? 
I guess it could get me stadiums. Scott's too. busted. Bro. Nah, dude. Scott <laughs> Scott literally just lets you search your deck for up to three in any combination of supporter and stadium cards. That's it. It's just a supporter that gets other supporters. Man, talk about... Times have changed, chat. <laughs> Time, this is... Scott is how you know. Look at him in his goofy Hawaiian shirt. This is how you know that times have changed in the Pokemon trading card game. That... This card... Phew, I am not... I'm not into Scott. All right? Bro, you get Battle Frontier with Scott. I'm I'm chilling, bro. I'd rather do anything else. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, that's fine. So we're going up with Nidal Queen again. And... Just gonna power Lariat for sixty. Okay. Still putting forth some significant damage. Streaming attackers, we're doing okay. Oh, draw. Yep. Um. I think I want to go. Hmm. I'll Celio. Yeah. Uh. No, I'm not gonna Celio. I'll attach a water. Sure. To Glutolo. That's good. And then I'll Means. go. No double rainbow. I'll discard Scramble with Mentor. Sure. And get three basics. Drachi, Drachi, and Cast Form. So I want to Healing Steps away all the damage. Oh, so you're just mentoring to grow your hand. Yes. So that then you can Healing Steps away yeah. all 60 damage. It also stands my deck. I'm oh, not going to lie, yeah. Will. That would... That kind of grind my gears a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, man. Not got, super into that. Just got to do it, bro. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yo, but, Psychologist Kane, I love your new name. That's great. But I kind of want to keep some of these cards, though. I don't want to discard all of them. Maybe we should have gotten the Heal Energy. I guess I can Heal Energy next turn. Because if you evolve one more time, then you're doing 70. So I have to heal... Yeah, I have to heal quite a lot. So, I'm going to smooth over. Yeah. For um, the Lombre. Sure. And Swing Dance to draw. Seems pretty good. That smooth over, Swing Dance combo just kind of rearing its head again. Yeah, it's extremely busted. So good. I mean, I really do need to find my... Need to find my other Pidgeot and get it into play so I could stop that soon. But, I mean, I, I can't even counter the Battle Frontier yet. So, really, we're just in a really big grind here. Fortunately, I'm ahead with energy attachments. Fortunately, I've kind of been able to pace myself. So, we're doing okay. Mm -hmm. But things are definitely getting a little out of hand. So, I'm going to Healing Steps away, I think. Uh, yeah, I has Heal 40. Or no, yeah, I feel 40, then you can't, then you have to do 80. Yeah, you, you can't do 80, there's no way. So, I'm gonna do, I'll get rid of these, or, not that one, these cards. So, how many are you getting rid of? Discard four cards to heal. Heal 40, yeah. do 30? Yeah. Alright, it's pretty good. Yo, thank you so much, Psychologist Kane, for the tier one sub. Appreciate it, Kane. Thank you so much for the support, hopefully you're doing well. Appreciate you. How many cards in your hand now, Will? Four. Four, you say. That's so you, not a lot. Yeah, copycat doesn't do much here. Yeah. You know what I think I'm going to do? Admin? Scott. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm playing Scott, chat. Scott I mean, gets me some stadiums out of the deck. And Scott also uh, gets me a supporter out of the deck. So I'm, in, I'm into that. That seems pretty busted. So Scott can help me just set some other strategies up. It's pretty good. So I'm going to get two space center. No, not two Space Center. Yeah, Space Center. Steve's Advice. Well, Steve's Advice seems pretty good. And we're going to get... Celio seems kind of good. And I'm going to get what? And I guess I can't get too many cards or else I won't be able to Steve's Advice. Well, you can't Scott and Steve in the same turn. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I'm thinking about for next... Man, I'm thinking ahead. All right, bro. Yeah, I got <laughs> a galactic brain going on over here. I got you. All right. And then uh, I think I'm also going to get an admin. That's probably fine. Okay. Yep. So we're going to do the Scott. And I have to Scott just so I can get another basic Pokemon, really. I mean, how much damage are you looking like you could probably do this next turn? 90. 90? Man, that, that adds up. 
So, like, I know you could probably just attach basic energy and knock my dude out this next turn. So, like, that's extremely sad. Um, I cannot do enough damage to knock you out. 80 is just, like... Well, let's see. If I Scott... I did Scott. You need to break any something else. You need to evolve and then... Yeah, there's no way I was gonna... Yeah. With this hand, it's like... I could have either tried to... Because you copycatted. And then I had my two supporters in hand previous to the... Before the Scott were Holland Scientist and Copycat. Mm -hmm. I could copycat for four. I'm not drawing that off of copycat for four. No. Holland Scientist lets me draw cards until I have the amount of cards that you have in your hand. Which is... Horrible card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, we're not doing that. So instead, we're gonna play our Space Center. Yeah. Um, the Space Center is gonna count in the stadium and then open up the doors for my Pidgeot to be able to do its thing. So I'm gonna Quick Search. And we're going to Quick Search... This is fine. Quick search for another Pidgey. Something I need to do. Yep. And now I'm really, you know, juicing your damage output, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. And I'm gonna attach double rainbow energy to my Nidorina. And I'm going to Power Lariat for 60 damage yep. with my Native Queen. Alright, I'll draw. Um, so here I can take the knockout. Yes. So I'm going to attach Holland's Cast Form, which, so it's a, it's a double rainbow, but in order to play it, I have to bounce the energy from uh, the Pokemon I'm attaching it to to my hand. Right. And it's really cool because it's a Pokemon that has this like little trait that allows it to be played as a double rainbow. Yes. Um, so you could actually search out the Holland's Cast form with Pokemon search cards, which is kind of what makes it so cool. There's also the Holland's Electrode, which has... Is it the same thing? Same thing, but it's in the stage one. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm Alcelio for... Hopefully my other Macargo. Yeah, I'll get the other Macargo. Yep. And then I will smooth over... So yeah, the Holland's Cast Form is really good. Uh, these cards saw a lot of competitive play while they were legal. I mean, obviously, just you know, acting as a double rainbow is good. It kind of conserves energy. So even though you have to like return energy to your hand, uh, giving you the flexibility to play more double rainbows is just really strong. Yeah. So I'll smooth over Swing Dance for Battle Frontier. Yeah. And then I'll smooth over again for this card. Yep. on top and then i will secure this after i go that sounds good all right and i'm just trying to trade with nidoqueens queens and then we're going to you know have the pidgeot try to come in and be the hero at the end of the game here uh, i'm gonna draw now i do have let's see i would like to steven's advice i can't quick search one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have to attach my energy first, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to attach an energy to... Hmm. It's fine. I'm going to attach an energy to my Pidgey on the bench. And... I think that's correct. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else where I could put this. I can attach it to the Pidgeot... Um, that doesn't necessarily matter. So, yeah, I'm going to Steven's advice. Now I get to draw six cards for the amount of Pokemon you have in play. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's actually obscene how bad that draw was. <laughs> it's absurd, chat. You're just going to have to take my word for it. This is embarrassingly bad. All right, that's fine. I needed just a single rare candy off of that six cards, but it's all good. It's all good. There's only three in the deck. What are the odds? <laughs> All right, it's fine. We've got a bunch of other stuff <laughs> in our like hand now. Ten other cards. Yeah, <laughs> I got a gang of other cards. It's fine. You know, big old hand. And uh, we're coming in with uh, Power Lariat for the knockout, okay. finally. So that's that's fine. I'll promote Lumbre. Yeah. And draw. Why? Wow, I can't believe I drew that card. Ah, you stacked it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ball to Ludicolo. Sure. Um, I'll attach the energy... Low tad. Sounds good. And I'll smooth over. And what's crazy is it's it's four to four prizes. Yeah. Like <laughs> completely nuts. Yeah, we got we, we got a while to go. We do, we do. Yeah. It's four to four prizes. There's been so many different things that we've done so far in this game. We both set up our board state, and really it's gonna be 
a battle of resources as well. Yeah. Neither of us play any EX Pokemon in our decks. No. So we're all just stage two decks taking single prizes in a format that had a lot of EX Pokemon in it. Yes. You know, it's just that both of these decks, uh, both these decks trade very well with EX Pokemon. That was one of their major strengths. So I'll get this card with this first smooth over. Yeah. And then I'll smooth over again. So you're going to stack two cards, then swing dance one of them? No, I'm going to smooth over first, then swing dance. Okay, and then, and then, and then, then you're going to smooth over again. Time. That's fine. And then... Because if you smooth over twice, then you get rid of one of the cards. Right. So... so Right, I was yeah. just making sure you weren't messing that up, Will. You know? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, Will. <laughs> I would have held you to it, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'll get this card with the other one. Uh, No, I'm, I'm, I'll get the other card. I'll get the busted card. Okay. Now, you did put, uh, what, a Pokemon Retriever into this list as well? I did, yeah. We were talking last night. It's like, eventually you run out of Pokemon. Yeah, you do. You like, run out of attackers, yeah. You use all your attackers, and you're like, well, I can't do anything. Right, you're, you're not, not like, hardly any doing any damage. I don't right. think you're going to place no recovery, and mine didn't either. So we we uh, put a Retriever in last night, so. Yeah. I'll Rare Candy to Low Tad. That's pretty good. No, Healing Steps for 30. Okay, so just going to poke me there. 30 damage. Gonna draw for turn. Um, how many cards are in your hand, Will? Three. I guess I could have swing dance again, but it doesn't really, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay. I've got, like, a really bad hand where I cannot play hardly any cards. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, how much damage are you doing? Right now, I'm doing... Uh, with, like, a... With, cir with circular stuff? Yeah. Uh, it's 80. 80? With no, with no double rainbow, it's 80. With no double rainbow, you're doing 80 right yeah. now. I think I'm going to heal energy to put me here. And I don't think that... Let's see. So you could do four... Oh, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So at, at maximum, you could do 80. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 90. Yeah, 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 I'm chilling. All right, yeah. Yeah, we're definitely attached to the heal energy there. Uh, and then I'm just going to power lariat for 50. 50. Um, what, 40, it's... 50, 60, 50, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. 50. 50. Right, draw. So the heal energy is really cool. It just heals 10 damage off my guy. I like that. It's nice okay. because um, it uh, helps fix some math for me. I'll Stevens. Yep. Yeah. For four? Four, yep. It's pretty cool. You got a stage one in there? Yep. Okay. You bet. <laughs> yeah, dude. All my rare candies are in the deck, man. I told you. <laughs> we got a gigantic <laughs> hand. And it's like, I'm not going to copycat Will's baby little hand over there. I don't want to waste any of my admins. I don't want to... Whatever that scientist card... Yeah, that's yeah. got to be the first card we delete from this deck for sure. <laughs> yeah. Scientist, man. Uh, I guess it's a Holland. It's a Holland supporter. Yeah. So it's like you can... We already play the Holland's engine for the um, the mentors. I guess the idea is you could turn one of your, you know, your transceivers into a, uh, you know, you could turn one of your transceivers into a, yeah, into a draw card, which is neat. So, hmm. I I don't know what I even want to smooth over for here. Um, I could still do it. Uh, uh yeah, I guess I get. I was thinking, yeah, it's a hand. I probably want some hand. Um, I guess yeah, I'll get this card. And then you can swing dance into it. Yeah. So you can smooth over swing dance twice right now. Yeah, it's pretty So you cool. can get whatever two cards you want out of your deck every single turn. Swing dance this card. Yeah. Which is completely crazy. I don't even want to do anything with... I mean, that's it. you get to a point where you have your whole deck available to you. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what else do you really need to do? Yeah, pretty much nothing else. Um, here, I think I'm going to... Pokemon Retriever, which is just a, actually just a rec, uh, re rescue stretcher. Yep. It's very cool. Yep. So you get to put some... I'm assuming you're going to shuffle, right? Yeah. I'll yeah. get Lotad. It's going to help keep you from decking out, which yes. is pretty good. Yeah. Lotad. Ludicolo. How many candy do I have left? I've used two. Yep. So I'll... I can't... Uh, yeah. Um... I don't get cast form. Do I get cast form? I think I just get. I think you get cast form. Seems yeah. good. I mean, that's just like a yeah. It's a Pokemon that counts as an energy. What's not to like about that? And then I'll smooth over the yep. second time for low tad and swing dance. So yep. 
Let's see. Power, uh, power layer is doing 50 still. I'm thinking you're involved, so it's going to do 60. So I would have to attach a heal energy and then have to discard. Uh, I guess he's, he's going to make you do 70. So. Um, I don't want to discard any of these cards, though. That's the problem. What you got, Will? <clears throat> I'll attach heal energy here. Sure. And then, I think, I, ah, oh, jeez, all these cards are busted. Yeah, so sometimes <laughs> you're going to have to just healing steps for 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Because you're doing 50. I want to heal. I want to discard just one card. I'll discard, I'll discard one. A double rainbow. Yeah. I'll go to the so, All right. You're gonna 50. Yep. Yeah. Draw for turn. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it's not great. So how many cards are in your hand now? Five. It's better than what I had previously. But this is still <laughs> so bad. Because uh, I have, like, I have so many of the pieces in my hand, except for... The, the, a couple key ones, yeah. yeah. It's just, uh, it, it definitely feels feels bad, man. Um, all right, we're going to go double rainbow energy onto Pidgeot. Um, I think I'm just going to Holland's Mentor this turn. I don't think that there's actually, and I'm going to discard that Holland Scientist for sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think, yeah, there's some basic Pokemon in here, all right. One. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we'll the, get... hound, the hound dude is insane. Yeah, we'll get this guy out of the deck. That's that's fine. Um, now that I'm like looking, okay, I do actually have a Nidoqueen Queen left. Maybe I shouldn't go that double rainbow. That's fine. I think we're kind of committing to that double rainbow being there. That's fine. Maybe I can toxic. Huh? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can toxic or something. All right, we're gonna get the hound door, mm -hmm. and then just take a look at my discard pile real quick. One double, two double, three doubles. Okay. Yep. That's fine. And going to just power lariat for yeah. 50? Power lariat for 50. Yep. Okay. So we got, so again. I go to 80? Yes. And you guys can see why I claim that the Ludicolo deck's impossible to beat. It's just like, it just heals all the time. It heals. I got two hit KO it, but it just heals. It keeps healing. Constantly healing. Very difficult. Um, I'll smooth over. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to. I guess I can do that. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I'm going to deck you out, Will. Probably, man. 100%. I'll, I mean, I probably won't play any more draw supporters. So, right. I, I have a few turns. So. And that Battle Frontier is just doing an absolute number on me. Yeah. Like, I. If I could quick search this whole time, we would be, I'd be out of the woods for sure. One definitely. of the few things, if I were to like, if I were playing against this matchup more, we would have definitely more space centers in this deck. I would have taken out the Holland, Holland Scientist a long time ago. Maybe Scott. Yeah. Yeah. I'll return the heal in my hand. Sure. That seems pretty good. Um. And then what you got, Will? I'll knock out what's your Take a knockout. Yeah. Seems pretty good. All right, three prizes left. Pidgeot in the active. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is the turn where I can maybe do some things. Seems pretty good. Okay, I'm going to attach Holland's energy. Yep. Um, we're going to Space Center. Yeah, the Hound Doom seems insane. Uh, Hound Doom does seem insane. I stopped you from playing items, but I mean, like, at this point, how many items you really got left in that deck? Pow, ATM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. Um, I'm going to. But I don't have the Hound Doom right now. I'm going to pull it off the prizes, though. Mm. Yeah, we put Hound Door down. Uh, I'm going to use Quick Search. Oh my gosh, I prized two Rare Candy. No wonder. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I got a Quick Search for Rare Candy. We're going to Rare Candy into the Lightning Pidgeot. Yep. And then I'm going to admin us. Nice. So this is, you know, what we're trying. I know your deck's just got stadiums in it, though. So, like, it doesn't really matter. But it is my play. I mean, this is this is yeah. what I could do, right? Mm -hmm. It's I don't really have too many other plays. I do have to find that um, Electrode, yeah. you know, eventually. That'd be good, mm -hmm. you know, so that I could actually attack with this Pidgeot here on the bench. But, you know, we're working our way towards that. 
Unfortunately, the Electrode was in the previous hand, but I kind of had to, like, go this turn, I yeah. think. So, I'm going to get four, you get three? Yep. Now, you are able to draw up to the, the, amount, the amount of prize cards you have. Yes, so you could yes, draw it's true. This is true. So, you could add them in and then draw zero to not die out. Right, I'm going to clutch for 30. Yeah. Take the knockout. Promote, what do you call them? Yep. Draw. This hand's pretty bad. Sick. Yes, and now because of my Pidgeot in play, Will cannot do his smooth over shenanigans anymore. Nope. <laughs> Unless he's got a stadium in his little four card hand. Hmm. Test energy there. And then I will healing steps for 30. Okay, this is what I like to see. <laughs> I'm going to draw. I think you're done, Will. Oh, geez. Got the electrode, no. free retreat. And now we're going in with Pidgeot. Yep. Rotating claws, one hit KO on the Ludicolo. Mm -hmm. Absolute insanity. Moving down to two prizes, taking the lead. And we see how this one Pidgeot is going to hopefully get us some time. Your ATM rock. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can play ATM rock. You know how to do it. And for those of you guys who are uh, who are just learning about this format, the Holland's Electrode is just like that. Uh, cast form. The cast form. It provides double rainbow energy. I just have to return an energy from my Pokemon back to the hand. I'm gonna go ahead and show that off. All right, I will use ATM rock to devolve my guys. Yeah. All right, so Pidgeot comes back. This Pidgeot comes back. Oh, I could have quick searched again. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This actually this shuts down my abilities. I forgot. No, this is only basically. No, one. this does. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah. turns off my own abilities. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna draw. You're gonna be so mad, bro. Yeah, candy again. Well, I have. Yeah, we got here, and now I can actually quick search. Yeah. Yeah, which is kind of crazy. And gonna get. The Hound Doom, which is kind of nuts. Yeah, doesn't do anything right now. But... Doesn't do it, but if you put down one more Pokemon, yeah. Yep. Uh huh. Very good. In kind of a bad spot, so we're gonna get that thing out, and then a rare candy back into the Pidgeot. Um, wondering if Hound Doom was the correct grab there. Well, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I'm gonna put an energy onto my Hound Doom because the Hound Doom can actually. Well, I guess the grass energy actually better off here. I'll yeah. Put the grass oh. energy there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I think you only run one ATM rock. Yep. So I think I'm cool to just go rare candy into the Nidoqueen Queen while I have that as well. Ooh. I know, right? And now we're chilling. Like my board say it's pretty solid. Yeah. And I'm just gonna rotate and close for fifty. Yep. Draw. Go heal energy. Yeah. And hyper tail for forty. No, it's actually less. It's thirty. Okay. It does seventy and then minus forty because double rainbow and the resistance. Yeah. So yeah, it does thirty. Thirty. Okay. Because I was gonna say I have a minus thirty resistance and your double rainbow. Yep. How many cards are in your hand? Two. I cannot believe you haven't found a stadium yet. Nope, and there's <laughs> there's three left. <laughs> no, I think there's two left. That is completely yeah, there's, insane, there's two left. for sure. All right, now, yeah, fortunately, yeah, rotating claws is still dealing enough, so I'm just going to attach an energy to my Houndoom, and we're gonna rotating claws for knockout. Yep. I'll promote cargo. Ooh, it's kind of card's kind of bad now, but. All right. The pow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll pow the Holland's Electrode onto the Pidgeot. Yeah. And pass. All right. I, I could have moved this, actually, and gotten rid of the, the body. But no, I, I have to, yeah. You have to slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to draw. And let's see. How many cards are in your hand? Two. It's not a great amount of cards. Nope. I think... I could just go Holland's energy here to retreat, and I'm going to retreat into probably the Pidgeot. Ah, uh, oh, okay, okay. Let me let me not be bad for like one second. All right, what are you going to do? 
yo, yo, check this out. You're going to retreat? And I'm going to retreat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to retreat first. Yeah, don't be bad, Andrew. Don't be bad. Don't be bad. All right. Retreat first into the Pidgeot. Busted, bro. And then I'm going to quick search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's go. And, uh, oh, wow. I don't have, like, any good cards in here. Um, you already used them all. I have already used all my good cards. I think my last prize is a double rainbow. So I have to figure out this win condition. You know, I'm going to get admin. Uh, I guess I don't have to show you, but it's fine. Okay. And then I'm going to attach another Holland's energy there to my Pidgeot to reinstate the ability lock. And then I'm just going to clutch for 30. Yep. Seems good. I'll draw. How many cards in your hand? Um, we've got six. Yo, watch this, dude. Holland Scientist, <laughs> discarding Ludicolo to draw five, right? You have six cards in your yeah. hand? Yeah, I'll draw five. I have to imagine you've found some stadiums here. Yeah, finally. Yeah. Right, we go Battle Frontier. <laughs> okay, that seems pretty good. So now you've got your smooth over back. Um, uh, is this a double rainbow? Game, I think this is. No? We've got to play four. I must have miscounted. Let's see. How many double rainbows do I have in this card? Probably one, two three yeah i do have all four all right the fourth one's right there i'll smooth over yep ah but that's game because i don't have any rare candy left and i have no no way to attack well i guess i can knock over but that's it i can't yeah sick yeah that's, that's is pidgeot just gonna end up getting there 30 damage clutch every single turn i can war point but you can buy more time but yeah. like i think you're gonna deck out before i will yeah uh, yeah 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 you will so for sure that that's game for sure that's crazy so i mean it it all came down we like we built up this game state mm -hmm. to that final like all right admin ability lock and pray yeah. it was like the hail mary pass <laughs> and it just it connected i mean that admin stuck yeah. really hard i mean you had the perfect board set up everything you were even like you know careful with your stadiums you didn't lay down too many yeah price of the third hurricane which is you know i guess my fault for not checking that but uh, yeah, I'll attach to this guy. Yeah. Or actually, no, I can scramble this guy. I'll combustion for fifty. Oh, that's serious. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> explain us what a scramble energy. So scramble do. energy provides it can only be attached to all Pokemon, and it provides three rainbow energy, but only if I'm behind on prizes, which is absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. That is insane. Yes. Also the case, you are behind on prizes yes. for sure. All right. Now I am out of like rainbows and stuff. So, that's a little bit tough. Uh, I still think we're chilling, though. Um, I'm going to attach this energy to my Houndoom. And I do have... You know, i got some options. What you got? That's fine. I think... Uh, you could retreat. I think I'm going to... I could go and just try and tight jaw a couple times, I guess. Or I could clutch, no retreat. All right, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Clutch. So 60 damage, or 30 more damage, no retreat, and then I guarantee game next turn with a tight jaw attack or toxic. Either one. Hmm. I will smooth over. Yeah. I guess you could, if you still got that burst secret in your deck, I guess you could pick up from a cargo. No, I don't have it in my deck. All right. Yeah. We did, we did cut that card. Ah, the Verse Seekers guy. I think the, I think cutting that card was a bad idea. I think the Holmes Adventure and Scientist didn't matter at all, because you already have like so much draw, right? Like with you know everything, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll put um oh jeez, yeah, this it's not good at all. I will a war point. Yep, war point. Yep. Um. I think I'm just gonna put up my. I think this Pidgeot ultimately does not matter at this point. We'll put that up because I cannot use its attack anymore. From a low tab. Sure. Let's go. Attach and surprise. Now I might retreat. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, oh yeah, I get. It. I'll surprise. All right, for ten. Yeah, and then. I can look at your one, uh, choose one card in your hand without looking, and then it goes back in the deck. Okay. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, I, I look at it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Ten more damage there. Draw for turn. 
I'm just going to retreat the Pidgeot. Yep. And we're going back into this guy, and we're going to clutch for 30. All right. And you can't retreat. Nope. Yep. Draw. Uh, we'll go heal energy here. And heal spot. energy. And surprise. What the heck? <laughs> All right. Draw for turn. And clutch. Clutch for game. Yeah. All right. We got there. Woo! Game one. Okay. I did I did prize that a battle frontier. So prize the battle frontier. I only have one left. That was uh that was pretty tight. Alright, you ready for game two, Will? Yeah, let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, uh and how, how long in was that game one? That was a long game. Yeah, no wonder it was only best of one back then, dude. Yeah, was that an hour and a half game one? An hour and a half? I we started streaming it like no, it was probably an hour long game one. Yeah. Though. And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell. And if you liked what you saw, make sure to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a really awesome community over there on Twitch. So I highly recommend checking out the channel and giving it a follow. If you're looking for trading card game singles, make sure to check out fullgroupgames.com. We are always selling and buying cards. If you've got extra cards lying around the house as well, make Make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list at fullgripgames.com. You just fill out the buy list and you send us the cards and we send you the cash. It really is that easy. And uh, with that, that's it. Y'all take it easy and have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.